I thought you didn't want to see me again. I thought that after Annabelle... We both loved you. Hey! Well, well, look who's here. Mr. David Merkin in person. Oh. I'm deeply honored. Mm -hmm. Hey, you just got here. Now you leaving? I gotta see a man about a dog. Woman? Let's talk about it. Bush loves to be among friends. Yeah, when he can find one. <laughs> she says she wants a larger copy of the photograph. Come on, in my place. Huh? My place? Both of you? Yeah. Then it's free, no money, no money. Both. <laughs> Ciao. Have a nice day. Who needs an interpreter? See, I don't forget my friends like some people I know. So you disappear for three months without so much as I go fuck myself? Well, four months, actually. Since when do you keep such accurate records? Since the critics took a huge steaming shit on my novel, exactly four months I go to the day. Did you really expect the Paris critics to be impressed by a first-time writer? Why not? So you pulled a vanishing act. And I fell in love. Perhaps you shouldn't read the book review if it puts you in such a bad mood. David Mirkin, the author of A Taste of Tears? Ben, she wants to read my book. So we go back to my place. She sits on my bed and starts to read, and I cannot take my eyes off her. She reads all night, she doesn't move. When she finally looks up at me, her eyes are brimming with tears. And she says, it's so wonderful. She laughed. I ripped up all the rest of the reviews because I don't care what those people think. All I care about is what she thinks. Get something? No, you did. You forgot to ask me to stay. Unless you don't want me to. I didn't sleep all the way through. What difference does it make? What day it is, what time it is? There is... Uh, there's some uh, opening at six. I said I'd be there. I'm afraid you won't be able to make it. We'll never be able to leave this room again. What are you talking about? While you were sleeping, I walled up the windows and the door. Not bad for a painted backdrop. No, don't touch. Paint is still wet. But tomorrow morning as it dries, you'll see the colors brighten. And the sky will be a light blue with a little pink cloud. That's her. Her. <laughs> Not her. 
I mean, the girl on the cover of the magazine. That's Annabelle. That's the one. Yeah! Looks good. Go to page 34. Yeah. 34. Mm -hmm. Huh? Since Annabelle, I've even started writing again. In the last two months, I started and finished my second novel, which I call Le Rendezvous d'Anna. Of course, inspired by my love for Annabelle, which I'm going to enter in their new novel competition here in Paris. And this one will not be stillborn, my friend. Lucky bastard. You think so? Fucking right. I'm worried, Max. I feel like I'm living on borrowed time. I am scared shitless. It's not like I'm the only one that wants her. Everyone in Paris has a hard on. This afternoon, some fancy guy comes to pick her up for some fancy party driving a Mercedes. What can I give her? Well, she did invite me to the party. Last chance, coming or not. I don't feel like going out. Come on, you never feel like going out. Well, I do. I want to dance with you. Close. Bodies together. Go. I look like a slob. I'll just be a jerk. So what? She loves you? You love her? So what the hell are you doing here with a dickhead like me? Hi, Annabelle? Are you okay? I had to talk to you. To tell you how much I love you. That I was sitting here thinking about you and getting very excited. Yes. Oh. You have a dirty mind. Terrible. I need to talk to you. Got to go. Bye. So what you gonna do? Christ! Mark had the gun. He aimed it at me. Then he put it down. He told me that he and Annabelle were lovers. I went crazy. I, I picked up the gun. I aimed it at him. But I didn't shoot it. I 
I dropped the gun and it just went off. Sure. The gun went off by itself? Yeah! What kind of fool do you think I am? Do you expect me to comfort you? seen him for a long time. Please. 